son was murdered 15 months ago here in Stockton. This mother says she has come to this gathering to share her voice. Her voice after her son was murdered. His killer has not been found. Jawan was murdered on December 14th, 2015. Um, we don't know what exactly took place. We just know that he left home to pick up his shoes from her friends and someone shot him. He died um, at 4.30 at a busy intersection on the corner of Swain and Lorraine here in Stockton. She's attending this event with other victims of crime to ask the community to step up. We need help. We really need Stockton's help because as I say that he was killed on the, at a busy intersection. I go to this intersection almost every day and I sit there at 4.30 to see how many cars come through. That intersection is busy with 25 to 35 cars. A round of applause, a show of support for survivors of crime. And he went on to abuse her. Today, more than 100 people listen to stories. We can't tuck away and pretend as if this didn't happen. Stories of domestic violence, stories of homicides. We've been on this journey of healing and empowering others to heal. There's power there. Tashida McCoyham says these stories will lead to answers. She works for the Stockton Trauma and Recovery Center. There's so many unsolved homicide cases and we need to start getting them solved. And Margaret Ramirez's son was shot to death in 2012. Since then, she has been involved with the group Victims of Violent Crime. We need these witnesses to start coming forward. These victims say part of the reason for sharing their story is healing, and they say healing creates action. In Stockton, Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News.